Hey guys, so this will be the first in a series of foundational videos on drawing and painting. But before we can even get to that, we have to first overcome a limiting belief that many people have, and which some of you probably have too. Towards that end, I want to share a reframe with you. The idea that anyone can draw. Yes, even you. Show of hands, how many of you watching this right now are artists, or have ever wanted to become one? If you found this video, I'm guessing close to 100% of you, right? Maybe you read the title and saw the thumbnail, and it reminded you of a certain Pixar movie whose message is about inspiring creative greatness through passion and practice, and you really wish you could make things like that. Maybe you'd really like to learn how to draw, but feel that you just aren't born with the natural ability, or you're not gifted enough or talented enough to achieve your dreams. You look at other people and think, wow, they're so awesome. I could never be that good. I'm just not creative, whereas they were born to make content like that. Well, if you've ever felt that way, then this video is dedicated to you, dear viewer. You see, as a teacher, and just as a general life strategy, whenever I don't know what someone else knows, I tend to start from a blank slate and assume that they know nothing until they reveal otherwise. Beginning at the most basic level I can. And for you, maybe this is just the very start of your journey. Your first steps. You see others swimming and having fun at the beach while you're still on dry land, anxious to get your feet wet. Maybe you're worried the water is too cold, and sticking your toes in, you'll just recoil back where it's warm and comfortable. Or there's so much to learn and you'll drown in a sea of knowledge, getting overwhelmed and swallowed alive by sharks or something. Any number of things, right? As an artist myself, I'm making this video to not only inspire you and encourage you to come on in, because the water is fine, but to also clarify some misconceptions you and society at large probably have about art in general. For starters, a lot of people think that the ability to draw is something you're born with. They use words like talent and gifted and natural to describe what are actually highly skilled people who've trained, either on their own or under professional tutelage, often for years or even decades. People who've trained to develop a craft that others think they will never possess themselves. And then they reinforce that negative mindset to create a self-fulfilling prophecy. They think it's not something they can do, and so they don't try, and consequently never put in the effort required to actually get good. In actual fact, I'm here to tell you that art is a skill like anything else, whether it's swimming, riding a bike, learning to read, play an instrument, or whatever. The famous painter Michelangelo, the one who painted the Sistine Chapel, used to talk about how, if people knew how hard he worked to get his mastery, they wouldn't think it wonderful at all. What we learn first, we learn best, and I want to instill in you from the onset the idea that talent is a dirty word. This applies not just to art, but to most things in life. Think of anyone who's ever been awesome at anything, who has abilities you doubt anyone could ever reach in a hundred lifetimes. Well, that person was a total failure at everything when they were a baby. So clearly, something had to happen along the way that made them that good. Yes, it's true that some people are born with a natural predisposition towards openness and creativity, or towards industriousness and discipline. Some people are more visual thinkers, or have synesthesia, wherein they tie colors to sounds or whatever. But none of that matters in terms of the actual techniques. The fundamental craft of drawing and painting is a learned skill that anyone can develop over time, if they are willing to put in the work. As long as you are physically equipped with working eyes and hands and a brain, 
you have the bare minimum tools required to learn how to draw, just like anyone else. And even if you don't, there are probably ways to squeeze your potential to compensate for that too, such as learning to paint with your toes or something. Ultimately, all that matters is you have an I can attitude and an I do work ethic. Put those together and eventually you'll get to say, I am an artist too. I myself attended a highly prestigious art school. Several, in fact. Most of my teachers were great. However, at the time, my motivations for enrolling were weak, and so I lacked the drive and the discipline to buckle down and do the work necessary to get better. This was a very costly decision, and one I hope that you will avoid. That's not to say you shouldn't go to art school if you truly feel you will get something out of it. But given how expensive college is, and the fact that you are not guaranteed a job on the other end, I would strongly encourage you to avoid that if possible. This is something else that they don't tell you up front. Would that I had learned years ago that I could have acquired much of the same information and ability for little to no cost online, which is another reason for making this video. I did, of course, get better over time after college, and have since put in a lot more work on my own, to the point where I can feel confident in passing along knowledge of those skills to you, dear viewer. Which brings me to the next point I want to discuss. While there are, of course, resources aplenty to learn on your own if you're willing and able, not all of them are equally good, and it can be hard when you're starting out to know the difference. Many would-be teachers either aren't that great at explaining why they do what they do, let alone how they do it, let alone how you can do it, or they emphasize the wrong things, focusing on creative expression and emotional fluff when their students can barely even draw a straight line. They jump into advanced topics and complex theories, expecting you to follow along, when that isn't how anyone learns anything. It's not how you learn to read, it's not how you learn to ride a bike or to walk, so why does anyone think learning how to draw and paint would be any different? If you're just doing this for fun as opposed to a career, it's okay to proceed at your own pace, and creativity is indeed something you can learn as well. But regardless of your goals and motivations, if you can't do the technical process of actually bringing your ideas to life and conveying them to others in a clear way, then what good is creativity? It's like trying to write the next great adventure novel when you can't even read yet. To some degree, this is deliberate, as many artists feel that if they share their secrets with the world, it will saturate the market, making it harder for them to compete. There is some truth to that, but ultimately, the cream always rises to the top. Others simply are well-meaning, but lack either the artistic skills or the teaching skills to do service to their students, and that is indeed unfortunate. Some of you watching this are probably more advanced and have been drawing for a while, but it never hurts to return to basics and brush up on what you know. Maybe you learned something new that you'd never considered before, and you can add that to your toolkit. As I said, a general life rule that I have is that, if I don't know what someone else knows, I assume they know nothing. That's not to insult or demean them, so much as it's to ensure we're both operating on the same page and they have a solid foundation built on fundamental principles. As Bruce Lee used to say, I fear not the man who practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Practice makes perfect, and a little goes a long way. By combining just a few basic skills, you will be able to expand and extrapolate from there to draw just about anything. Then, and only then, will you be able to bring your creative vision to life. So hopefully, you've found those words encouraging, and they've inspired you to take the next step along your artistic journey. 
whether it's the first or the 10,000th. I plan on making more videos that go over what some of those skills and techniques are, as I have learned them, and I hope you will stick around for that. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, all the usual stuff, and until next time, take care, my friends.